Hey nerds, Amy here, and today we are going to learn how to insert page numbers into a Word document. By the end, you are going to know everything that you could possibly know about inserting page numbers. So with that being said, let's nerd out. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is head on up into your tab, head over to page numbers, and I always like to put my page numbers at the bottom, and we can just select this first simple option for now. All right, so now we have some page numbers in this document and it is coming along. So if we double click within this footer area, then you can see up at the top here that a header and footer tab is added to the ribbon. So this also provides us with a little bit of information of what's actually happening in this footer area. And as you'll see here on this first page, there is no page number. But if we head on up to this header and footer tab, you can see that there's this different first page button and it is toggle to on. So if we toggle that off, then we will see that this is added as page zero and is now connected to the rest of the document. I'm going to turn this off for now and we can move on. So we want to add a different page number type to the table of contents area. So what we need to do is double click out of this footer view and if we uh, move the cursor right in front of preschool, this is where we want the new page to begin. And we can head on up to layout and under breaks on the left-hand side, we can select new page under section breaks. So this has now moved that preschool area to a new page. And what I like to do is just click on this paragraphs icon and we can actually see here that a section break has been added. This view is a little bit confusing. I totally agree with you. But if you are ever having some weird issues with your header or your footer, then if you turn this on, then it's going to allow you to see where your sections are because different sections can allow you to have different headers and footers within the document. So in order for us to now update this page number, we're going to double click in this footer area once again, and under page number, we are going to select format page numbers. And you'll see here that under the number format, it's defined as one, two, and three. So if we click the drop down menu, then we have some different options here. And I want to go for the Roman numeral values. So if we click OK, then we can see here that that has now aligned to a Roman numeral. I do just want to align that into the center and there is a quick link here. Alternatively, you can even just use these areas up at the top under paragraph. So now that we have that Roman numeral page number on the table of contents page, I'm going to now back out of this paragraph area. Okay, now moving on to the bulk area of the document, which, and you will see here that this footer is now uh, moved into the middle, and that's because of this link to previous button here. So if you see this first one, if we double click in there and we say, for example, align it left, then it's also going to move this bottom one here to the left hand side. But I would like this to be in the middle and want it to align um, on the left and the right. And we want it to be different on the odd and the even pages. First of all, let's head on up to that header and footer tab. And if we deselect link to previous, then now it's going to remove that alignment from the previous section. Again, we have that different first page and that has defaulted to on. So I'm going to toggle that off and now we have a page number showing on the first page of the training manual. However, it is showing as zero, which isn't really going to help us. So what we can do is head on up to page number. We're going to go to format page numbers again. And then down here, you'll see that we can say start at and I'm going to do one. So now we can see that that is updated to one and this is updated to page two. Now I do also just want to change the format of these. I personally like the page X of Y and that just, you know, ensures that you do have all of the pages within a document. Okay, so we are coming along here. Look at that. We've got a few of our formatting options complete. Now, the last thing that we want to do is we want to align this page on page number on the left and we want to align this one on the right. What we're going to do is select different odd and even pages. So now you'll see that this has gone to page one of 10 and now we've removed the footer from the even page within this section. 
you'll see here that this says section two. So that's how I know that I am within section two of this document. So this is still linking to the previous. You'll see that this same as previous is showing as well as up here. So I'm just going to toggle that off to eliminate any issues uh, going forward. So we are just going to remove that there. Now I'm going to go page numbers, bottom of page. And if we just scroll on down, we're going to find that X of Y and it's going to be aligned on the right hand page. Look at that. It is looking so beautiful. So now that we have that in, let's scroll on up and see what's happening throughout the rest of the document. That first page still has no page number. We have that Roman numerals for our table of contents. And then if we just scroll throughout the rest of the document, we can see that we have the lovely formatting aligned on the left and the right for the odd and even pages showing page number X of Y. All right, so that wraps up this video and I do hope that I've helped you discover your inner nerd today. And I also hope that you've learned everything that you needed to know about inserting page numbers into Microsoft Word. We'll see you again.